everybody I'm hopping on to make a quick video because I haven't made any videos in a while so I wanted to talk about some updates that I have so I built a new portfolio website it's devjachelle.tech and I've started over whoops can't even get this thing <laughs> I started over because I, I had um a, another site je, uh, jachelle.dev and other websites but basically I have I wanted a solution uh, to where because I was operating on two different domains for my portfolio and my blog and I wanted to put them all together and I it took a it took a long time because I have to usually work on it on in the evenings and weekends things like that uh, because I work as a programmer full-time so uh, anyway, so basically, yeah, so I, so on my homepage, um, I kind of have a hero title up here, you know, fun stuff about me. And then I have my recent projects below that and my latest articles. And at the bottom, I have a subscribe option and ways to contact me. And then on my about page, have a little bit about me so you can read um, the most interesting thing about this page is I put uh, I, I put in like a little tree my work experience and professional training so I'm gonna be keeping that updated for sure and I have my projects which I didn't I took this I had I for some reason I took my projects page down on the last design that I had but I just added it back so you can see my recent projects. Uh, most of these are projects I've had on here for a while. Um, I'm currently working on some stuff right now, but you can see what I'm working on there. And this is my blog. So I've written a couple of articles. Uh, I talked about, uh, I did a seven month reflection on being an associate programmer, which I started um, in March, uh, that, my first full time software development role. So I talk about that. And then I've also talked about working remote as a programmer, day in a life. And I'm pretty much going to be posting more articles than videos because with, um, let me bring this back up. With articles, I can kind of go at my own pace. Uh, like, right, cause usually I'm not, my articles are pretty in depth and I'm not writing these all out in one day. Usually it's like, you know, an hour a day, I may add some stuff, not even an hour, probably less than that, <laughs> but I add a little bit a day until I'm finished with my articles and then I post them. So I've been averaging like one article a month and that's pretty much how I'm going to be. As far as content creation, I'm pretty much going to be doing articles. What is this? No, I don't want to add a frame. <laughs> so I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm going to be doing articles because I'm gonna just bring that back down, okay. Um, yeah, like like I said, working full time and pumping out content, you know, maybe one day I can figure out how to pump out 1,700 videos a day while doing that, but right now, I articles, I have to stick to those, and I do have, I'm gonna be posting a lot of tech articles um, at least once a month, uh, as much as I have time for but just mainly wanted to talk about my new portfolio because and I'm happy I'm happy about it because again I was operating on two different domain names and I really don't I really prefer to have a central location for everything when it comes to my work so I don't really like linking out if I don't have to just have it all in one and right now this simple design works for me so if you want to check it out stay updated with my work and what I'm doing. This is the place to go. Um, I'll try to make videos when I can. Um, I have some ideas, um, but again, it's very time consuming and maybe one day I'll figure it out. So, uh, okay, I'm on a free trial on something right now. So I'm, I'm gonna let the timer run out and then and then I gotta start this video again. Yeah, cause I don't, I don't make videos enough to be paying for stuff, <laughs> so. 14, 13, I'm just gonna stop it and come back. And we are back. So anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I started my first programming job 
this year and it's in it's uh, in the higher education industry and we work with Drupal. Um, that's one of the main technologies I work with. So I'm, I'm actually working on um, an article about uh, customizing Drupal websites right now, which that's uh, pr probably hopefully released it in January. It is January. What I mean is this month. So you can read uh, on my associate program or seven month reflection. I do talk about that. I talk about uh, getting hired into my first developer role. I talk about uh, my team and all that. So, so again, this is the place to where um, I know uh, in the development community, we want more people talking about their experiences, especially those that um, just are just starting, you know, the journey, but also just starting their first job. And I know that it's cool to see people sharing their experiences. And this is the way I do it. I, I write about it because um, I can kind of get all my thoughts out um, through a blog post or article. And um, I'm talking about what I've been learning so far. And I've, I feel that I've grown a lot as a developer over these past nine months. And I'm coming up on a year in March of being a software developer. My role is a software developer specialist, associate programmer. So I kind of assist in a lot of like design and um, development stuff, testing, writing technical documentation, things like that. And, you know, I've grown a lot as a developer. I've um, just uh, more than I would have just, you know, on my own, you know, you grow a lot in a, in a professional setting. You learn a lot from people who have been um, doing this, you know, 15 plus years or even 10 plus years, five plus years. And me coming up on my first year, I can see the difference of when I first started versus now. And um, I did, I touched on a little bit that um, I think in my last video, uh, attending Lambda School and that's where I attended Lambda School to learn what I needed to know for the industry and if you don't know about Lambda School it is a let me go to their website it's a code school and I did their full stack web development program let's see full stack and this was back in 2019 I enrolled in March of 2019 and I um, I started in the full-time program, but I moved to part-time because I really wanted to take my time and soak in all the information that I was learning, especially, um, you know, and kind of move slow and build nice things and polish my portfolio. And because um, I wasn't really in a hurry because I was exiting another kind of job in the tech industry. And I wanted to basically immerse myself in what I was getting ready to do here. But JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Node, React, you, you learn all this stuff. You're building projects the whole time. Um, but once I got a job in, this was back in, my first interview was in January. And then I started my job on March 2nd. So I didn't actually complete Lambda School. However, um, I completed front end, back end, which was enough to learn full stack. And I, let's see. Um, there's also computer, the computer science portion, and then the portion where they help you find jobs. So, I'm I was I'm considered a person who was hired early, but still willing to answer questions, things like that. But um, I think Lambda School for me was worth it because I, and here we go down to 58 seconds on this free trial, but. <laughs> Because, you know, I'm going to, again, this video thing I'm using. Anyway, so worth it because it's taught me a lot. Even though I have a tech background, I've been, I started getting into web development very early as a teenager. But it taught me what I needed to know for the industry and prepared me for a job. Um, and I, I can talk more about that at some point. But uh, for me, it was the right path for me because I already kind of, I was already familiar with a lot of uh, technologies, like uh, front-end technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, but I wanted it to kind of push my skills, increase my skills, and we're down to 10 seconds on this free trial. I'm going to have to stop and restart in a second. Okay, I'm back again. 
and I got another round of five minutes before we run out again. Uh, and I'm getting ready to wrap this video up. I, um, I'm not going to get too much in details here, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, my experience and kind of what I'm up to right now. And it, again, in my first job, I'm working with Drupal, PHP, a little bit of JavaScript. So um, again, I, you know, in upcoming blog posts, I'm going to be talking a lot more, writing articles, um, definitely sharing things that I'm learning. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. I can't think of anything else to talk about other than um, just updating you on being a being in my first year as a programmer. And so, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm on LinkedIn, Jashelle T, Twitter at Jashelle Burr, um, Instagram at code underscore her underscore J. And I'm usually, you know, hanging out in those places and I'll try my best to make more videos. But again, most likely um, I'm going to be writing articles because that's just what I have time for right now. Um, but good luck to everybody on this same journey as me. Either you're working to become a programmer or you just started a new job. Um, feel free to connect with me. Um, I'd love to share experiences, uh, things like that. And happy new year, everybody. Bye. How do I set this thing? <laughs> Alrighty.